online and on your smart speaker. My Beauty Spot, fragrance kiosk at Can Central, powered by Chemist Warehouse. Hit News Briefing. Hi there, Tara Cassidy with you. It's been a devastating year on the nation's roads, according to police, with Queensland recording the highest number of fatalities and its most in over a decade. 299 people died on Queensland roads in 2022, eight this weekend alone, while 287 died in New South Wales, 240 in Victoria and over 1,200 nationally. Chief Superintendent Chris Stream says there's also been a noticeable jump in motorcycle fatalities in some states following an influx in registrations post-pandemic lockdowns. So that included younger riders, but also older riders that have returned to motorcycle riding after a number of years of being absent from motorcycle riding. So contributing to that uh, was speed, alcohol and drugs, but also other drivers. Money's being raised today for the family of a young bull rider killed in a New Year's Eve rodeo event in Queensland last night. A cash boost for approximately 1 million Aussies from today, with the youth allowance welfare payment soaring between $19 and $40 per fortnight. Those on the disability support pension will receive an increase of $27 to $40. And revellers are being praised for their mainly good behaviour at the many New Year's Eve festivities across Australia last night. No major issues in Sydney besides a crowd surging towards the Harbour Bridge near midnight. 49 arrests in Victoria, 95 in Queensland's southeast. Meanwhile, police in Tassie and South Australia say they were generally pleased with the behaviour there. Beyond Blue is here to help you achieve your best possible mental health. For more information, advice and support, visit beyondblue.org.au today. At the Big Bash, homeside Melbourne Renegades are hosting the Perth Scorchers at Marvel Stadium. The Renegades batting first and making 6 for 155 from their 20 overs. Aaron Finch became the second man to pass 3,000 BBL runs on his way to 65. And in the EPL, top of the table Arsenal fended off a late surge from Brighton, winning 4-2. For Lillian Crystal Palace, also had a minute while they were sitting in weather, plenty of wet weather, getting down to 23 tonight, more of the same tomorrow, a top of 29 degrees. And for more news, the briefing is still on deck over summer, a deep dive on the news that matters each morning on the Listener app.